My father, he has this family business that he's always begging me to be a part of. I don't want to do it. So he basically abandons me. And the only person that I can turn to is my aunt. And my aunt gave me everything I needed when I was struggling. Well, years later, it turns out that I've made it pretty big in the field that I wanted to go, and I'm starting to repay back my aunt for all the kindness that she showed me, but there's a little trick to this story, and it's my father, it's my mother, when they found out I've been helping my aunt, they absolutely lose it. I'm Jade. I grew up in a fairly wealthy family. I mean... I never lacked anything and got whatever I asked for almost immediately. I have a younger brother, Stanley, a stay-at-home mom, and a workaholic father. That would paint the picture of a stable if not perfect family, wouldn't it? Well, it appeared that way and felt the way for a while, until I decided to stray away from my family's business and do one thing that I loved. Programming. Now, a lot of what I'm about to type out is from the past, more than five years ago to be precise. I'm saying all this, so whoever's reading my post will be able to judge fairly, I hope. Post-college, my life got turned upside down. I begged my parents, pleaded with them, not to force me into the family business. I'm not entirely comfortable disclosing what it is, but they wouldn't listen. I never understood why they were so adamant about me taking over when my brother was quite interested in running it himself. My dad believed my dream was going to end by being fruitless, which was quite funny given the age that we're in and my mom naturally supported him. Now, I tried to push aside my disinterest in the business and work alongside my own father, but it was a huge waste of my time. To avoid talking too much about the past, my own father called me a disgrace and disowned me, so to speak, You'll understand why I put the words in quotation of disowned. When I left, I had no one to turn to. The few friends I'd made in college were no longer in the state, they were long gone, and I was quite broke, so I could not travel to go see them. Two of them offered to pay for my trip, but I was going to live off of them anyways, so my pride could not accept that. I was quite close to talking them up of their offer, though, but... Until I called my aunt, Angela. Now, she is my dad's sister, and they're estranged. Why? Because like me, she did not and still does not care about the business either. She said she would have most likely been in charge of marketing. That's what my grandfather wanted her to do anyways, and she wasn't interested. Aunt Angela left a startup for a small perfumery, and while things were doing okay... I could tell she expected more to come out of it. My uncle, which is my dad's brother, my dad, and my grandparents used her as an example whenever I talked about starting something of my own. She came over a few times, though, and the first time I saw her was after my grandfather passed away, when I was two years into college. I expected to see a bitter lady that day, but she acted like a typical member of the family. There was no disgust or hatred in her eyes, and when she spoke to me and my family, and, well, that drew me to her. I'm glad I decided to get in touch with her that day, because she's one of the major reasons I'm even where I'm at today. She was a shoulder for me to cry on, and I told my father I wanted to be a programmer. And she took me in when I had absolutely nowhere to go without any hesitation. She did her best to assist me with getting clients, sometimes from her own pool of customers. Then there was the constant boost of confidence that she gave me whenever I let my dad's voice seep into my thoughts. Her son, who was in high school, a freshman, when I was close to completing college, was a younger brother to me. My relationship with Victor was better than the ones that I shared with my own brother. Aunt Angela soon started to struggle financially after I became financially independent. Her husband was no longer in the picture, and Victor was now officially in college. She managed the first year, and when I got to her, well, to hear from Victor that they were both struggling, I was furious with her for not telling me. 
I made a promise to help with Victor's education and with their upkeep. And after I ignored all her protesting, Aunt Angela let me do what I wanted. I have a very stable job and am earning more than enough money. There was the issue of my savings, so it wasn't any trouble. So, to my surprise, a few weeks later, last week, actually, I get a call from my mother. She began to yell at me, and I haven't spoken to her in two months. Keep that in mind. And when the shock of her outburst finally wore off, I got to know that it was because of my promise to Aunt Angela. At first, I did not understand what that had to do with her anger, because my mom was not that temperamental type. It turns out that my family's business is in trouble. I'm not entirely sure of the details, but my dad and brother had made a huge investment and something went wrong with it. My family can't get any more loans from the bank and it's now grasping at straws. I don't mean to sound insensitive or something like that with what I'm going to say next, but I didn't understand why my mom was telling me all this. I sympathized with my family because they were going through a lot, but I had not heard from them in years. Except for my mother, who called me every month or two. She told me that she found out that I've decided to help with Victor's tuition. Victor had apparently asked Stan for help earlier. He did not get a dime, clearly, before he asked me. He had then told my brother that I was helping out and that he did not need help from my family anymore. Another surprise was that my mom went ahead and asked me to lend my dad some money. I told her I didn't have any enough money to just pay for Victor's tuition, help my aunt, and lend to my family at the same time, which was the truth. I was comfortable, yes, but I wasn't wealthy, for God's sake. She told me that Aunt Angela would manage without my money and I had a huge argument with her, calling her insensitive and in my anger, I ended the conversation completely. After telling her that no one from my home would be getting a dime of my money. One week later, I'm regretting what I've said. She was not being thoughtful, but she is still my mother. My dad sent me a long text message this morning, inviting me to dinner in two days. I have a feeling that we're going to have to discuss the financial crisis my family is facing. So, I'm thinking of splitting up the money that I'd plan to give my aunt. What do you guys think? I think both parties will be okay with my decision. I plan to tell my aunt tomorrow and my dad when I meet him. Update number one. Hey guys, hope you're all doing great. It's been two days since I've posted last and yesterday I told Aunt Angela all about my plan to split the money between her and my family. She was okay with that. I wasn't exactly surprised when she told me that, I guess, but it was an entirely different story with my family. They all welcomed me with open arms when I went into the house that day after my call with Aunt Angela. I was going to turn around right there and then, but I decided to give them the benefit of the doubt. It was weird to see the same man who called me an utter disgrace shoot smiles my way as he gave me multiple pats on the back. Oh... Well, for a moment, I thought he actually regretted what he did years ago, but when he casually dismissed my words when talking about my job as a programmer, I knew that he was the exact same man that stopped regarding me as his son, because I did not do what he expected of me. My mom was back to her old self, smiling and constantly checking to see if I was healthy. I wondered if she was putting on an act like my dad was. But her actions seemed pretty genuine, and I pushed my thoughts to the back of my mind. Dinner was quiet, but as soon as we were all done eating, well, Stan brought up the topic of company problems. He also talked about Victor and my promise to him, and when I told him I was definitely going to honor that promise because Aunt Angela needed the help, my dad attempted to persuade me, saying that Aunt Angela could easily get a loan, and he even mentioned Victor taking a gap year, and that's when I had enough. Apparently, it was the same with my dad because he began to yell at me, telling me that the company needed the money and that I was being selfish and unreasonable. At that point, I became quiet. 
My dad was fuming and my mom and brother kept trying to calm him down. It eventually worked because he apologized for yelling at me. I was pretty shocked because my dad was not the type to apologize. He told me it was my money and that I was free to do what I want with it. He also made me mention of the fact that the company was extremely important and that Aunt Angela could survive as she always had. With that, he left with my mom. Stan told me that he had somewhere to be, but that he'd like to come over and have a discussion with me. I told him to forget it, especially if he was going to lecture me about what to use my hard-earned money for. He smiled and told me that was not the case and left the house. I just could not stop thinking about what my dad had told me. If I was being logical and maybe if he was even right... Unlike my immediate family, Aunt Angela was not in any kind of debt. At least not that I was aware of. She could easily get a loan if it was that urgent and the business needed as much cash flow as possible. And my dad tried his best to be civil when he asked for it. So, well, um, at the same time, I'd make a promise to my aunt who had been struggling ever since she left the family. Needing a second opinion. I drove over to a colleague's apartment instead of my own, and I had thought of telling Aunt Angela everything. But knowing her, she'd tell me to give all the money to my family instead. And she would definitely become more reluctant to receive any money from me. To my dismay, my visit did not provide me with any clarity on what to do. None at all. My colleague had come to the same conclusion that I had, and when I asked what he would do in my shoes... He told me that he would most likely give my family. Well, then apologize to my aunt. His answer annoyed me, but I could not exactly blame him. He didn't know that my father treated me like an outcast, and while I wasn't sure that his answer would have changed if I told him that, I was still hell-bent on giving my aunt and Victor something. The next day, my mom called. This was the second time she called within a week, and I made sure to mention that to her. She told me to reconsider and apologize for her outburst the first time that she called. When I asked if she was only being so considerate because my dad needed my money, I could hear the hurt in her voice when she abruptly told me to think my decision through before ending the phone call. I felt partially drained after, and I wish I had not offered to help anyone out in the first place. Should I actually listen to my family and help them out despite being out of contact with them for years? Or should I go with my initial plan and make sure my aunt gets a substantial amount from the money I'd planned to lend out? Then there was the entire thing with my mom. She always supported my dad, yes, but she hardly ever raised her voice and why is she acting so strange nowadays? I'll update you guys soon. Update Number two. Quite a number of things happened within the past two weeks. Stan came to visit almost a week later, and it was weird having him in my space, and at first I did not know how to react to it. When I asked why he decided to visit, he showed me a picture of a woman. She looked to be around his age, and it turned out that she was somehow just interested in. My father did not know anything about her, and I knew this was because he would not approve. Once again, I was glad that I did not live under my father's roof anymore. He was far too controlling. My brother told me that she did not come from the best background and that he had been helping her out with her mom's hospital bills. He begged me to give the family the money and I was stupefied. I don't know if I've said this before, but Stan and I weren't close as brothers. Yes, we lived in the same space for years and barely ever fought with each other, but that was it. We had completely different interests, and he was usually with my dad while I was locked in my bedroom learning about computers or playing video games. Stanley told me he was close to being broke, and he said he would not bear it if something happened to the older women in the hospital. I felt bad immediately, but I was not going to budge that easy. I told him that I needed time to think about it. I did not want to say that to him while he was in that state, but I needed to be sure this was not all some made-up story to get me to give up my money. My dad could have sent him here for all I know, and though 
If I were to judge based on the display in my apartment, Stanley sounded genuine. The family clearly needed the money, and he did not want anything to happen to some lady he apparently cared about. At that time, I figured I was being unnecessarily stubborn. Aunt Angela did not ask for the money after all, and I refused to give it to the people who did because of something that happened in the past. So, I called Aunt Angela after Stan left, and for some reason I could not help but feel that she sounded weird when talking to me. I told her everything that happened during dinner with my family and about Stanley's visit, and she told me that it would be best to give them everything. When I kept asking if she was okay with it, she told me she'd find another way to take care of Victor, and after the call, I finally knew what to do with the money, but it is still just feeling so wrong. I called Stanley again the next day, and I did not want to call my parents because I still could not figure them out, and I was happy I did because I found out that he was not lying. He was in the hospital then and the background noise confirmed it, and at least my brother was not putting on some fake act. And that was nice to know. I told Stan that I'd give our father the money he needed, and he was ecstatic, thanking me profusely over the phone. I made him promise that he'd help out Aunt Angela as soon as the business was back on its feet. He said that he would, and that was when I got the striking idea to ask why he did not help out Victor when things were doing decent. He said our dad told him not to, and that he did not have any savings of his own to give, since he was already helping someone else out. I asked why my dad gave that instruction, and Stanley said he didn't know. I reasoned that my dad had perhaps foreseen what was currently happening, and decided to be frugal. No one could have been that heartless, right? A few days later, a victor texted me. He said that his mom told him that college was going to have to wait and ask if I was still going to help out. It was hard to tell him that I decided to give the money to my father. He was not happy with my decision even after I told him that his mom was more than okay with it. But to my surprise, he told me that my dad had visited a few days ago. Victor wasn't really sure what they talked about, but he knew that my aunt was slaving away at her store afterward. Victor had negative things to say about their meeting, but I told him to give my dad the benefit of the doubt. Now that I think about it, though, I said that mostly to convince myself and not Victor. I, like my cousin, thought my dad's visit had something to do with the way my aunt sounded during our phone call. I went over to my aunt's shop during the weekend, looking for answers, and I found out that my dad had told her to convince me to give him the money. Victor was right, and I was not entirely surprised by the truth. My aunt broke down and told me things that angered me even more. She begged me not to be rash, but I stormed out of her store, and I went for a drive just to calm down my nerves. When I got home, I called my father and told him I was going to give him the money he needed to jumpstart the business and that I'd already informed Stanley. I'd also asked to meet with him tomorrow, but he happily suggested dinner. I wasn't hoping for a dramatic confrontation tomorrow, but it would do. Update number three. Well, guys, the past month was oh so eventful, but... I would not change a single thing. I'm very satisfied with the way I handled the entire situation. I did not think it was possible, but my dad was extra happy when I went over for dinner the second time. Well, I couldn't blame him. He thought he'd finally be getting what he wanted, and I asked how much the business needed, reminded him that I only had a few thousand to spare. He said that he'd borrow from a few people and sold a few things as well but that he needed a little more for whatever his plan was. After joking about how much interest I'd take in the business, we sat down to dinner. Stanley came in a few minutes later. I almost changed my plans after seeing him, knowing where he had most likely been. He was going to be out of a job and completely broke after all if I decided to go ahead with my plan. When I told my dad that I, well... Gone to see my aunt the day before while we were making small chit-chat. He didn't even bat an eye. Then he suggested when I told him I knew why he'd gone to visit her. He shrugged. 
My mom was surprised by what I said, and she asked my dad why he did that. He said that he had only told her to do the sensible thing, and I asked why he had done that after telling me that I could do whatever I pleased with the money. My dad told me that he could tell that I was going to help my aunt out, and that he wanted to prevent a potential mistake from happening. I asked him what he said to Aunt Angela, but he got annoyed by my question. I exploded at that point, telling him that I was not going to give him a dollar out of my money. I reminded him that he had told my aunt that she was not a member of the family anymore and such, and should not expect anything from me. When I told him that she was more family than he had been and would be getting my money instead, Dad gets angry. We both cursed and called each other names, yelling at the top of her lungs, and Dad kicked me out of the house off after almost hitting me. But I could not care less. It was all over and done with. My mom and Stanley came to visit about a day later, and they even asked me to reconsider, and I told them I was not going to do anything of the sort. I did sympathize with them, and that's the truth but my dad was not going to benefit because of it, and I promised Stanley that I would help him get a job, reminding him of the fact that he was still a young person and had experience. He still begged, despite my promise, but I did not budge. My mom reminded me that the business was what provided for me as a child, and I asked her if my dad had told her to say that. When she did not reply, I knew I was right, it was quite sad that my mom was a victim of emotional manipulation, but I knew she would not listen to a word that I said. I figured out that my dad was probably the reason. My mom and brother kept their distance and treated me like a stranger. He did the same with his own sister, after all. Stanley and mom eventually gave up, and my mom said to stay away from her till I made the right decision. I was hurt by her words. But if she was going to support my dad in his wrongdoings, there was really nothing that I could even, well, do about it. I knew that she had said that because she was emotional, and I could not hold a grudge because of that. Stanley left without saying a word, taking my mom with him and leaving me to my own thoughts. I talked to Victor about everything, and he felt sorry for me blaming himself for the decision I had to make, and he did try his best to make me feel better about the drama I was facing in the family. Along with work, it was a welcoming distraction, I'll admit. The only downsides were the cold shoulders that my aunt and brother were giving me. My dad had yelled at my aunt after dinner, and while I had the heart to go over and give him a piece of my mind, I reminded myself that my aunt would not be happy about it. She already was not talking to me and told me to give my dad what I wanted. I text her every day, and Victor even told me that he's sure his mom will come around. But I'm not really sure about that. I hope that was the case. I mean, yeah, I know she needed the money, but her empathetic nature did not let her see that. I'll go over and talk to her if things don't change soon. Thankfully, she's not like my mom. She will listen to a little bit of reason. Finally, I managed to land Stanley a job after the interview. Courtesy of a friend of mine. He still has not heard anything substantial from them, and he's pretty bummed out about it that he has to search for work now. Our discussions are a bit strained, but he's slowly coming around, and I mean he keeps me updated about my parents and asks about me from time to time. That's better than nothing. His girlfriend understood my decision, and while I feel bad about her having to look around for money to treat her mom, my mom still has not even said a word to me. So... Uh, last I heard, my dad was grasping at straws, and I just feel that my anger will dissipate at some point and that I'll end up helping them out. But that's not happening anytime soon. I need to cool off. I still wish the best for my parents, and yes, I always will. That's the only thing I can do for them now. Anyways, thanks for listening. So, OP's father was completely out of control in this story, guys. I do want to hear from you. A lot of the comments, they were saying, well, they thought OP handled this flawlessly. 
but I'd say there was about 30-40% of comments that weren't really happy with how OP went about handling this whole situation. So, I do want to know from you guys, if you were in OP's position, and your father was basically being a tyrant, what would you do? How would you go about it? Drop your comments down below in the comment section. Thank you for joining me on today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, my name's Mr. Reddito. I narrate stories every single day. It could be inheritance dramas. It could be affair dramas. It doesn't matter. We have a story for you. So hit that subscribe button, guys. And I do want to announce a, a little bit of a new channel announcement. It's Mr. Reddito's Revenge. If you haven't heard about the channel yet, we already have over a hundred videos you can go watch right now, and it's all based on revenge. I don't know about you guys, but reading all these drama stories, I've thought to myself so many times, man, I wish a little bit of karma would happen to some of these people. That's why I made the Revenge Channel. I've handpicked as many revenge stories as I can find, and we're continuously looking for more stories. So, you can find that channel down below in the description, or you can just search it up on YouTube, Mr. Reddito's Revenge. Guys, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow, and remember, it's cool to be kind. See ya!